Concerned Freight Forwarders Association of Nigeria has applauded the federal government for installing the non-intrusive inspection scanners at the ports. According to the leadership of the group, the intervention will increase efficiency and lower cost. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. According to Concerned Freight Forwarders, the recent installation of non-intrusive inspection scanners at Nigerian port facilities is undoubtedly a welcome improvement. However, the group is of the opinion that more scanners are necessary to drive efficiency in service delivery. The wonderful development, I applaud them for that. So it's a very good one, but we still need more. In Apapa, as uh, one of the biggest ports here in Nigeria and West Africa, we should be able to think of um, having up to four scanning machines in Apapa. Then why think can should and um, at least minimum of two or three to enable things go very well. Scanning machine is more detailed and you'll be able to at least be sure of what you're doing such that if there is any way it is suspected, you don't need to bring out the whole containers down. All you need to do is look at this particular spot where the scanner suspected and then you just dig straight there and fish out um, whatever may be there and then probably give a DN or treat it accordingly. In addition, they are concerned about forex instability and other economic concerns that currently affect port trade. This is um, a pre-election uh, pre year where a lot of um, issues have been channeled to politics other than business. The politicians are mopping up all the money to make sure they have their, I mean, to do politics. So definitely we're having issues on that. And that is why you see importation is low. Secondly, you have this issue of Forex, which has been biting very hard. A lot of goods are there accumulating the knowledge, not because of anything, because of the people don't get the money to transact, possible to transfer back this money to the, to the um, point of call to enable them uh, pay up and get their, and get, uh, and, and get their, their original documents. And you know, these Chinese, Chinese or any other, most of their counterparts, they cannot let this document without you paying complete. If you, if, you, if you owe them $10, they're not going to release their document to you. So that makes a lot of containers inside the port accumulating the knowledge. In order to prevent loss of man hour in traffic around port corridors, they want government to fast track current upgrade of port infrastructure like the roads and bridges as soon as possible. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.